Hi Diaries, so in this video I'm going to recreate with you a weekly planner from the Cherry Blossom collection. It's called the Week at a Glance Planner or this spread you see right here. It's a planner that has um, daily boxes from Monday to Friday and then weekend. And up here you have frames where you can write in any kind of affirmation or sentence or text or, or important points. So these are the frames up here and then below there is a water tracker and then a meal planner. And I will be showing you how you can create this exact planner spread and also how you can decorate it with the cherry blossom stickers. So let's check out this planner. And first things first, we need to know what kind of layout to apply um, to this template. So let's analyze the layout. So you see that the left page has three columns and it has three rows and then the middle row is taller than the upper and bottom row. So we know that we will have to create a spread that has nine boxes in total, like you see here. And then the right side is exactly the same layout as the one on the left. So let's go to Planify Pro and let's open up a new planner. So here I have a new template. And before we start, let's check out what colors I've used in this planner. So if you go to colors up in the menu, you see that there are three different kinds of colors. So for the outline, I have the black color applied. And then for the header color, I have a blush pink. And if you want to have the same color, you can type in E9CFD7. And then for the line color, I have D5, D5, D5. You can also um, adapt the same color palette I have here, or you can also select your own colors. And now let's also quickly check out the styling. So for the styling, I've selected the minimal and then the classic style. This one right here, this classic. So you can just click on it and it should automatically apply it to your planner. You just don't see it yet because we don't have any widgets added to this template. But for now, just click on classic. And the next for the text or the fonts, the H1 font, I have the font uh, the palace it's called applied so you can also um, scroll all the way down it's called the palace if I remember correctly but you should also be able to search for this for this font the palace um, it has no space between the and palace so just type in this one here and then it's this font right here so you can select this font have it selected, then go to H2. For the H2 font, I have selected the font which is called, um, I think, Liberal. So if you go to Regular and you scroll all the way down, you should see a font that is called, oh sorry, it's called Libre Baskerville. So select this font. And then for the H3, select the exact same font. So under Regular, let's select the same. Libre font like this. So now that we have the font and the color selected, let's go to the layout panel and let's create our own layout. So go to adjust layout and here you see there already are two columns. However, we need three columns. So click to add a column and then add a widget into it like this. And now we need to have three rows. So we already have one. Add another one and add another one. And now add windows within this, within this layout, like this. Okay, now what we'll need to do next is make the middle row higher than the rest. So maybe adjust it to around 2.5. So you should, so the measurements should be one fractions for the first row. The second row is 2.5 and the third row is one fraction. And now we can copy paste what we have here on the right side to the left side by clicking on this upper button on the left side, which is called uh, right to left. So this one right here. So click on it and there you go. So now we have the same layout both on the left and the right side. And let's jump over to adding our first few widgets. 
So these frames you see right here are from the Cherry Blossom collection. So what you can do now is click on the first box and then go to stickers and I will quickly expand this panel so you see more. Okay, go to stickers. Let me expand it. And then here go to search for Cherry Blossom. And these are all the stickers we will be using in this tutorial. Now you can scroll all the way down until you see frames. So these should be quite far below, right here. So two thirds, scroll all the way down. They should be here. And then you can add any kind of frame you see. So for example, um, this square one, then in the next one, um, a round one, A round one and then a something looks like this and you can also swap them around okay and then on the other side let's add a um, square one then a round one and then um, this one here with six corners like this. Okay, so now next let's add these daily boxes and the widgets I used for this, um, this box here is go back to widget and then check out the box pocket box 4. So this is the widget I've used for this daily box here. So add the pocket box 4 and then in the settings, reduce it to one section and then add in total around, you can add 14 or 15 rows like this. Now the colors of these widgets are gray. Um, what you can do is click on outline and then select a gray color. Um, for example, this silver color, which is D5, 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 that's the color code. You that's the color code. You can also type this within here next to outline. And then uh, let's add a header. So you can add a header when you click here on show header. And then you can type in Monday. And this is how the widget should look like. So from here you can select this widget and then copy it up here on the left side. Click on copy then select the next window uh, next to this widget and click paste and paste it in all in all these fields like this. What we'll have to do next is rename them. So the second one rename it Tuesday. Okay. And then let's move on to this meal tracker and this water tracker. So the widgets I've used for this one here below is the multiple box widget. So select the last box on the left lower side and in the settings or in the widget panel, go to multiple box and add this widget into it. Then below in the settings, reduce it to one row and four sections like this and next we will also have to change the color to the last color we've selected which is d5 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 so feel free to type in this color code to get the same gray color and next copy it and paste it into all the other lower boxes like this paste and paste it and into the last one. So now that we have the meal planner down here below, um, we will have to add the BLD for breakfast, lunch and dinner. So click on the second row. This text panel should show up. Then down here you can type in into this text panel B for breakfast. You can also make it cursive like this. 
The next one is breakfast L for lunch and D for dinner. And one, one downside here is, is that you cannot copy this widget and paste it into the next one with, with pasting also the text. So this is something we haven't implemented yet. So you will have to type it individually into each field. And I apologize for the inconvenience. Um, we will try to add this feature as soon as we can. So you don't have, so you can also copy widgets with written text within the widget so you don't have to retype it all the time. But for now, just um, retype it. And also on the right side, select it. Okay, so here we go. On your side, you should see something similar that looks like this. And the last thing that's left is the water tracker. So this water tracker has so this water tracker has one, two, three, four, five, six water drops. So how you can add a water tracker like that is by selecting the first row. This text editor will show up and then click on emoticon bullets and then select the black color and then click on the water drop six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then uh, for the icon position, select the center like this. And this is what you should have on your end. You can also make it a tiny bit bigger or smaller depending on what you prefer. I'll leave it like this and repeat the same step for all the other rows. So click three, four, five, six and have it centered. And this is what you should have on your end right now. So you see the planner is complete except the header and the stickers are missing. So let's add a header. And to do that, click on text panel, go to H1 and then go to title types. Also have left page selected. So you only apply the text, the header to the left page and then click on apply. And then you can type in Sorry, actually you will have to add a new a, an additional column so that header can be in the middle. So click two times on the columns and then for the first column add an empty one like this. Um, here on the right side also add an empty text, an empty header. And then here in the middle now we can type in week at the Glance, or you can type in any other kind of title. And now, um, actually, I made a mistake. Actually, we also have to add a header to the right side because now you see, um, once we've added this header, um, this whole planner moved down. So we will also have to move down the right page. So click on right page and then click on add right, right title. And to have the header empty, click on it and insert an empty header and there we go. This is how the finished planner looks like. And if you want to further decorate it, you can still follow me by going to sticker. So select sticker mode and now you're able to add different kinds of stickers. So under sticker, select um, the cherry blossom, the cherry blossom collection. There we go. And the way I decorated the planner was I added um, two watercolor um, dots or two watercolor splashes on the left and the right side. And you can find them all the way down here. Right here. So add one to the, to the upper left side add another one to the right side. Same for the right page. Click on the right page to add stickers to the right side. Add a watercolor um, okay add those two. 
And now let's move all the way up again. So let's select the left page. And then I've added this one here to the left page. Move it up like this. And then I added two flowers um, right here. And you can add these flowers um, anywhere you want. You don't have to follow exactly what I am doing, but I'm trying to create it as similar as to the original. And then I also added a few line art flowers or lined flowers. So if you scroll almost all the way down, you should see here, you should see um, cherry blossoms, which are just um, black and white. So let's add this one, make it smaller and rotate it. Move it up here. Maybe move it a bit down like this. And let's add a, a floral like this um, to, to this position like this. And this is how the left page should look like. And now we can move on to the other page. And here we have cherry blossoms in the middle. Actually, this one should be more centered to the middle like this. And, and then add maybe this one, rotate it. And at this point, you can just decorate it like you want. You don't have to follow what I'm doing here. I'm just trying to get it as close to the original as I can. And I can get two, um, here like this. And by the way, you can use this final planner commercially. This exact one you're creating now at home, you can use it and sell it in your Etsy shop or Shopify or Amazon KDP. The stickers can be used commercially as well. And there we go. So this is, doesn't look exactly the same as the original but close enough so you can further decorate it um, to your liking. But this is how you can create a simple weekly planner on two pages um, with frames on top of each daily box. And I hope this tutorial was helpful. Um, as mentioned, you can use this template commercially in your shop. You can sell it in any size. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to message me on Instagram or Facebook anytime and I will try to respond to your questions as quickly as I can. Thank you. Bye.